there is one very deep place on our planet. It is called the Mariana Trench. You've probably already heard something about it before, haven't you? As we were all taught in school, Everest is the highest place on Earth, and perhaps you learned that the Mariana Trench is the deepest. And that is probably all you learned. The average person's education ends there. Few are given a larger account of the how and why of this mysterious abyss. You cannot imagine what secrets this place hides and how strange are the creatures that live there. This deep furrow in the earth is in the west of the Pacific Ocean, near the Mariana Islands from which its name is taken. The Mariana Trench is a huge V-shaped trough 1,500 kilometers long and more than 11,000 meters deep. Something as tall as Everest could easily be dropped into this vast and near bottomless channel, while still leaving more than a kilometer of water to the surface. And now about the inhabitants. For ages, it was believed that emptiness reigned and life there a priori was impossible in such a remote and monstrously deep place. The Soviet ship Vityaz proved otherwise in 1958. Scientists discovered life at a depth of 7,000 meters. More and more evidence was revealed that the inhabitants of the Mariana Trench existed not only in huge numbers, but also that time and the eons had not affected them in the least. In addition to all kinds of bacteria, invertebrates, and mollusks, there are enormous unidentified creatures to this day. These are real monsters. 1960, Jacques Picard, a Swiss researcher, was the first to attempt an expedition to the bottom of the Gargantuan Gorge. Jacques and his partner, with the help of the deepwater bathyscape Trieste, reached the lowest point of the world ocean, the so-called Challenger's Abyss, almost 11,000 meters below sea level. These two brave men stayed there for no more than 20 minutes, but they saw enough to say there is life on the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The discovery was a worldwide sensation, is 1,100 times higher than our normal sea level atmosphere, approximately three tons per square centimeter. Even iron bends under such monumental forces, but the local fish somehow feel nothing. Huge clams and strange subspecies of fish unknown to science bizarrely thrive in such conditions. But the discovery of life at a depth of 11,000 meters is not the only thing that made this dive famous, or should we say infamous. Many years later, the records of Jacques Picard's logbook were declassified. The blood runs cold in the veins at the information found therein. The researcher records a terrifying event about halfway to the bottom of the abyss. Quote, a large disc-shaped object is accompanying our bathyscape and is visible through the porthole. The object is maneuvering and clearly looking at us. The object was seen clearly. There was no mistake. Unfortunately, or perhaps to the joy of our adventurers, the object disappeared from view after a few minutes. Who or what it was is still unknown. Our lack of knowledge about the nature of this phenomenon suggests that it may indeed perhaps be a creature from an unknown underwater civilization or maybe some descendant of some more ancient intelligent beast. Speaking of ancient creatures, 1985. The crew of the American ship Glomar Challenger carefully studied the bottom of the yawning, crushing concavity, lowering the 9-meter ball-shaped device called the Hedgehog into the depths. Suddenly, the computer began recording the strangest sounds. The cables holding the probe stretched and stretched and stretched almost to the breaking. The researchers rushed to bring the device back to the surface to find out the reason for these strange happenings. They attempted to reel it in, but the hedgehog wouldn't budge. There, in the depths, something held fast to the device and wouldn't let it go. Finally, after three hours of fighting, their machines could at last raise the probe. The unknown force had released it. And then, 
as the probe was pulled from the sea, a terrible sight was revealed to the scientists. The probe looked as if it had been in the jaws of an underwater monster. There were bite marks on the plating, and some of the steel cables had been torn off. What kind of creature could have done this? The incident caused quite a bit of consternation. The condition of the cables and platform was simply astounding. To contain this wave of fear, as all the team members were extraordinarily frightened, the official version of the incident was that the platform got stuck on a rock, which is what caused the damage. But the crew knew that there was something huge and enormously powerful there at a depth of 11 kilometers. According to the official version, everything was the same as previously discovered. The bottom of the Mariana Trench is covered with various mountains, but the precise area where the studies were conducted was barren. There was not a single rock. There was nothing for the probe to get caught on. If that were so, the onboard instruments would have alerted them to a collision. But that did not happen. And apart from the terrible damage, there were still those horrible, heart-rending sounds, which no one has ever explained. Later, biologists suggested another more sensational version of the incident, after systematically reviewing all of the long-term reports from the researchers. Their verdict? That a giant relic, the monster Megalodon, damaged the cables and platform. This huge, prehistoric shark which weighed 50 tons and was 22 meters in length, is a long extinct ancestor of modern sharks. It was believed that they disappeared more than a million and a half years ago. But if the report is correct, then Megalodon did not depart this world after all, but found shelter in the depths of the Mariana Trench. This idea did not come out of nowhere. The scientists had discovered a giant tooth the size of a man's hand. A thorough study confirmed the tooth did indeed belong to the ancient creature Megalodon. Some years later, a Japanese dry cargo ship, which passed over the storied trench, received a severe blow to its side, which literally made the ship jump in the water. At the same time, the water surface was absolutely calm. There were no reefs or other obstacles nearby. The crew of another vessel traversing the Marianas the Federico Padre saw in the distance a huge column of water jet into the sky, expelled perhaps by some beast. Just imagine the horror the sailors must have experienced. And here is the most recent example. Scientists during a recent expedition discovered an unusual jellyfish, which now and then looks something like an alien from another planet. The body of the jellyfish with its long tentacles glows red and yellow. Scientists have captured it on video. The creature belongs to the jellyfish genus Crossota and has two sets of tentacles. The tentacles, as we can see, extend, eerily elongating while the body remains motionless. This behavior indicates that she hunts for her prey, luring them into an ambush. This bizarre creature was discovered in a mysterious and little-known area of the Mariana Trench called the Submarine Peak of the Enigma at a depth of about 3,700 meters. Perhaps we have been looking for aliens in all the wrong places. While we look to the sky and peer far into the heavens at some distant planet, they are right under us. They are closer than we think. Whatever the creatures are, Strangely, the ocean is now studied even less than outer space, and hence, in the future, we can expect many more fantastic discoveries, and we will be here to tell you all about them.